Hi, it's Stuart Sutton at One Acre Plus Homes. I hope you're having a great day. We're going to talk about another factor that typical subdivision homes don't have to deal with as often. If you own a home on an acre or more, there are unique nuances and factors involved in the sell of your home that a lot of typical agents are not familiar with. Because we specialize in helping people sell home on an acre or more or buy a home on an acre or more, we are familiar with these unique aspects. So here is one. Over 50% of your buyers are going to have to sell their home locally in order to buy your home. That's a big percentage. You don't want to just discard those buyers. A lot of agents will not consider a contingency offer. However, if you do the research and you do the work, a contingency offer can be a very viable scenario. So if your buyer is local and they bring you an offer that's contingent on their home selling, you should not necessarily just set it aside. You actually have three options. You can accept the contract, contingent on their home selling, and wait for their home to sell. You can also accept it with what's called a first right of refusal. What would happen here is you would keep your home in the market, buyers could come look at it, but if any new buyer was interested in making you an offer, and going into contract, you would then notify the first buyer. They would have to remove their contingency or terminate their contract. Now here's the thing. Under number two, your home will show active contingent in the multiple listing service. In other words, it's active on the market, but there is a contingency contract in place. A lot of buyers and agents don't look at active contingents because there's no certainty that they could negotiate to an agreement and close the house because the first buyer really has control. The third is to pass on that contract altogether and I see a lot of agents do this. I don't really recommend that in the one acre plus market because so many buyers have to sell their home to buy yours. So they have a dream of the privacy and the land and the space and having their kids and dogs run and play on the open land. That's a dream you had at one time. A lot of people cannot fulfill that dream without selling their home. They can't afford two payments at one time. Or even if they can on paper, they're not comfortable with it. So that's why you're very likely to see a contingency offer. Now there are a lot of buyers who don't have to have the contingency, and that's great. But if you see a buyer with a contingency, don't just discard it because of the contingency. A lot of agents will do that. But if you do the proper research and put a little effort into it, you can find out if it's a viable situation. So we find out if it's contingent on a house selling, if that house is on the market yet. If it's not, may not be as good a situation unless the buyer's willing to put the home on the market right away and it's a very good sellable home. But if the house is on the market, I can physically see it and tell you, here's the price, I'll do an assessment on the price, I'll do a valuation, I'll analyze the neighborhood to see how the neighborhood is selling and will determine whether that house has a good chance of selling in short order. If I can see the house and I can assess the neighborhood and I can assess the home's price, we can go a long way toward determining whether that's a good situation for you. If you get a contract contingent on a home selling and that home is under contract, that's a very good scenario. That means we don't have to wait for them to put the home in the market or wait for them to find a buyer. They've already found their buyer. Now what we want to find out is what is the status of their contract? Is it past the inspection and option periods? Is their buyer approved? I'll actually pick up the phone and call their buyer's lender just like I call your buyer's lender. So we want to make sure that their buyer is prepared financially and qualified to buy that house. When is the closing date? I want to know all that information so you can make the best decision for you. Now if it's out of state, I actually pick up the phone and call the listing agent for the buyer who's got an offer on your home and I call the buyer's agent for their buyer. We want to find out all the information we can again so you can make the best decision. So the bottom line is that we often place our client's home under contract with a contingency and successfully reach closing. Now, I don't mean we often do that and sometimes we don't. Statistically, we've never failed to close a contingency. 
When I say we do it often, I mean sometimes we get offers that don't have contingencies, but we have yet to not close a home with a contingency contract because we do the work, we take the extra effort, we find out the information needed so that you can see if this is a viable situation for you. Thanks for listening. I hope this was informative. Please feel free to contact me if I can help in any way. And remember, it's your choice, so make it a powerful day. Bye-bye.